Good evening, folks, and welcome to The Horror Corner. I'm your host, Sean Patrick Urshan, and this week we are doing another tag video. And this one is called the 10Q Horror Tag, or the 10 Question Horror Tag. And this is from YouTuber LastVenom76. Uh, so it consists of 10 questions, but first off, I want to show off this awesome magazine that I got this week uh, from Horror Hound. And that shows the awesome picture of Christopher Lee in the role of Dracula in the classic, which is my favorite vampire movie of all time. As I've said many times in my channel, Horror of Dracula. Just thought that was awesome. I just wanted to show you guys. <laughs> uh, so let's get to it, shall we? This is 10 questions about horror films. And uh, the first one is, what is your favorite opening sequence in a horror film? Uh, so for me, I'm going to pick my favorite all-time horror film, and that is Halloween from 1978. Uh, that opening scene is just brilliant. It's so well shot. It's so incredibly well directed by John Carpenter. And uh, I love the fact that you don't know who it is. Uh, you just see from the perspective of the killer, you see him walk into the kitchen and you see a hand grab the knife out of the kitchen drawer and uh, you see he walks up the stairs, he puts on that clown mask and you see it go right over the camera and then you see through the eyes and you see him stare at the girl in her room uh, doing her hair, brushing her hair and she's sitting there like naked. <laughs> And uh, you see him attack her and viciously stab her to death with the butcher knife. And then you see her fall to her death and then you see him walk down the stairs. And the whole time you're just seeing through those eye holes. And you see him walk out to outside and the uh, couple, couple walks up and rips the mask off his head. And you realize that's his parents. Uh, and then you see that it's actually a six-year-old child standing there with the knife in his hand and the clown Halloween costume. And that's our introduction to the legendary character of Michael Myers. Uh, so, so awesome. So number two is, what's your top three horror movie quotes? Uh, so the first one I'm going to go with uh, is one that Last Venom 76 mentioned in his video. And that is the scene from The Shining uh, when he's chasing Wendy up the stairs and she's swinging the bat at him. Uh, and he's like, I'm not going to hurt you. I'm just going to bash your brains in. I'm going to bash them right the fuck in. <laughs> uh, I love that part. Uh, next up, number two is, I met this six-year-old child with this blank, pale, emotionless face and the blackest eyes, the devil's eyes. I spent eight years trying to reach him, another seven trying to keep him locked up because I realized what was living behind that boy's eyes was purely and simply evil. Of course, that's from the original Halloween from 1978. And number three is from Nightmare on Elm Street Part 4, The Dream Master, and that is, you can check in. But you can't check out. <laughs> that's the scene with the Roach Motel. I love that scene. It's not the greatest film in the franchise, I realize that, but that's my favorite line. Uh, number three is, which vision of The Shining do you prefer? Stanley Kubrick's version? Or, of course, Stephen King's original vision from his novel? And I'm going to go just like Last Venom said, uh, Kubrick's version. <laughs> Uh, I just think what he did on screen, uh, his amazing visual storytelling, uh, which Stanley Kubrick was an absolute master of that. Uh, the visuals are so amazing, so creepy. Uh, the acting performances are so awesome. And I think uh, his version of Jack Torrance is better, you know? I know uh, Stephen King doesn't like the movie. He thinks it deviated too heavily from the book. And uh, yeah, it did, it did deviate from the book. But I just like Kubrick's version better. The changes he made made the movie better. And also I have to say the weapon of choice for Jack Torrance. Uh, in the book it was like a polo stick. 
uh, a type of mallet like uh, Harley Quinn uses <laughs> in her uh, comics. And uh, I just think an axe is definitely a more intimidating visual for a horror film. And that's a lot more frightening. Uh, you can cut a person up, hack them in half, cut their head off, chop their arms off. It's a lot more intimidating uh, visual for a horror film. <laughs> So, uh, next up is, number four is, what is your favorite creature in a horror film? And, uh, I've said this in the creature movie tag that we did a while back. Uh, and that's Alien from 1979, or the Xenomorph, as it's called. Uh, definitely the most amazing design in a creature movie or horror film. Uh, it's just brilliant. Uh, the design by artist H.R. Giger is amazing and I if I ever saw anything like that in my life I would have a heart attack and die it's so freaky looking uh, so that's my answer for that one number five is what is a movie that you dislike that everyone else seems to like and uh, I'm probably gonna <laughs> make some people mad on this but I'm gonna go with the devil's rejects uh, directed by Rob Zombie uh, I'm not the biggest Rob Zombie fan you know when it comes to him being a, rec a director. I liked his music, but as a director, I still have yet to be impressed by him. I feel like he's got a cool, unique style, but I think his writing and his dialogue is what hurts him, and I think that's what hurt him on The Devil's Reject. I think The Devil's Reject is as close to a good film as he's done, but it just doesn't reach the point of being a good movie. It has too many setbacks from the writing and the script and the dialogue. I think that ruins the film. Uh, so yeah, Devil's Rejects for me, I'm going to say. So number six, in any, in any type of horror movie scenario, who would you want to be grouped with to ensure your survival? And, uh, you know, they didn't say it had to be a survivor person or it had to be a hero, so I'm going to go with the villain, and that is Michael Myers, the shape, the boogeyman. That's who I want on my side to ensure survival is Michael Myers. <laughs> uh, number seven, if given creative control over your favorite horror film, what would you change? Um, so... We know my favorite horror film of all time is the original Halloween from 1978. So as, as beautiful as that movie is, as awesome as that movie is, it's not completely perfect. And uh, the one thing I would change is the location. Uh, instead of doing it down south somewhere where there's palm trees and they don't even have fall, I would bring it somewhere where they have actual fall up north, like New York, Massachusetts, somewhere like that, where they have an actual fall where you can use real leaves and real fall time scene instead of just having to put bags of leaves and spread them around. <laughs> it's it's just it's noticeable in the film. <laughs> uh, so that's what I would change. Uh, so next up, if given, uh, I'm sorry, what are two favorite artwork covers in your collection to horrible movies. Uh, so I'm going to say on that one, Conan the Destroyer. <laughs> yeah, the first movie is kick-ass and badass with Arnold Schwarzenegger, but the second one, not so much. It's really campy, it's really corny and cheesy. It's bad. Uh, and the, but the cover is really cool. And next I'm going to say Revenge of the Ninja. One of those classic ninja uh, movies from the 80s starring Shokazugi. Yeah, it's a bad movie. It's terrible. It's awful. I think it's a lot of fun. I enjoy watching it. But it is a bad movie. And the, But the cover is pretty cool. You see him in the ninja uniform getting ready to whoop some ass. So yeah, Revenge of the Ninja. <laughs> that was a tough one for me. Uh, because I don't even buy bad movies. I don't normally buy bad movies. When I buy a movie, I kind of research it ahead of time uh, based on some critics' uh, reviews of it. Uh, and then I kind of take a chance from there. Or based on hearsay, if one of my friends says it's good, I might give it a shot. But I don't just buy a movie because it's got a cool cover, you know. I've never done that. <laughs> Uh, so next up, number nine is, what's a movie you have tried to watch, but for some reason you just can never make it through? Um, 
I'm going to say Wes Craven's New Nightmare. I'm sorry. Uh, I just can never make it through that movie. I always fall asleep every time because it drags. You know, I like the concept of it, but for some reason, the, the, the execution, it just drags. I'm sorry. It's very, very slow moving. Uh, so next up, um, number 10 is, At the present time, what horror movie would you like to have in your collection that you don't already own? And I'm going to pick Creep Show and Creep Show 2. Both of those movies. I don't have either one. They're classics, I know. I should really have them. I think every, any self-respecting horror fan should have that in their collection. And uh, I love those movies, but for some reason I've just never gotten around to getting them. <laughs> so I'm going to put it on my list, my to-do list. Uh, so that's it, guys, for the 10Q horror tag by Last Venom 76 uh, So now it's my turn to tag some people. So I'm going to tag Dave Maggot. I'm going to tag Horror Metal. I'm going to tag Jen's Reviews from the Grave. And I'm going to tag Bronco Juggalo Talks Movies. So guys, get on it. Do the 10Q Horror Tag. And thanks for joining me, Sean Patrick Gershon, in the Horror Corner. Tune in and stay scared.